Someone once said that culture eats strategy for breakfast, and research shows that even the best laid plans can be derailed if leaders don't understand the power and dynamics of company culture. Cultural norms define what's encouraged, discouraged, accepted or rejected within a group, and when aligned with personal values and needs, energizes teams to work toward a shared purpose. A team of researchers identified two primary dimensions of culture, how people interact with each other and how they respond to change. Individuals and organizations alike tend to be oriented toward a way of working, independently or interdependently, and with an emphasis on maintaining stability or seeking flexibility. Eight different and distinct cultural styles can be mapped into a framework oriented around these two axes. Caring workplaces are warm, collaborative, and welcoming. They're also prevalent. 63% of companies in the sample ranked the style first or second in their organizational culture. Work environments that emphasize purpose are tolerant and compassionate, with a uniting focus on altruism and contributing to the greater good. 9% of organizations have a highly purpose-oriented culture. Learning cultures are characterized by exploration and creativity with inventive and open-minded work environments. 7% of organizations rank this style highly. Only 2% of companies rank enjoyment at the top of their cultural profile. These light-hearted, playful work environments are characterized by high morale, engagement, and creativity. A results-driven culture is all about goals, achievement, and winning, and is highly ranked in more companies than any of the other styles at 89%. Authority cultures are decisive, bold, and competitive with strong, confident leaders. 4% of companies rank this style highly. 8% of companies rank safety at the top in their culture profile. These workplaces are predictable, realistic, and risk conscious, defined by planning and caution. Finally, 15% of organizational cultures highly prioritize order. In these structured and methodical work environments, people play by the rules and tend to want to fit in. Organizational cultures are defined by the absolute and relative strengths of these eight styles. Each of them have pros and cons, and no style is inherently better than another. In the author's analysis of organizational cultures, results and caring consistently rank at or near the top of everyone's list. But other attributes tend to differ depending on many factors, such as region, industry, strategy, and organizational design. They found evidence that organizations might adapt to meet the demands of their external environments when comparing cultures across industries. Purpose, for example, is in healthcare's top three while barely registering in consumer staples. The authors observed that a culture can drive positive organizational outcomes when aligned with strategy and leadership, so it follows that cultural styles may vary with organizational strategy. The study found that companies pursuing a differentiation strategy tend to prioritize learning, purpose, and enjoyment over order. Another consideration is how different cultural styles drive employee engagement and customer orientation. The study revealed that enjoyment is the biggest differentiator for companies with high employee engagement, while learning tops the list in differentiating companies with a strong emphasis on customer orientation. When assessing an organization's culture, the degree of employee agreement about the organization's cultural styles also matters. In the figures, proximate dots represent similar employee views, while those in different quadrants indicate varying and often opposite views of the culture. If everyone within an organization agrees on the attributes of the company culture, you've got high convergence. If an organization has a culture that is aligned to its business environment and strategy, then this can correlate with higher employee engagement and customer orientation, but it also means that the culture would be much more difficult to change. If people are citing many different attributes, you've got low convergence. While this may be a bit chaotic at present, it can also be ripe for changing if you aspire to a different company culture. Once leaders know where their organizational culture falls within this framework, many recognize the need for change, which can entail strengthening some cultural styles while diminishing others. Nearly all the companies studied expressed a desire to increase a culture of learning, while unsurprisingly, most did not want to change their emphasis on results. Understanding company culture and how it affects outcomes is a powerful lever for leading change. <laughs>